they're able to do something with fusion that they say could save the planet or whatever. Do you understand it at all? Nuclear, it's a nuclear fusion breakthrough. Is there some egghead that can explain it in the comments <laughs> with your big ass brain that's been completely overlooked? Has anyone been more overlooked in this era than actual smart people? Because of all of us stupid people tweeting our fucking opinions. Scientists achieve a breakthrough in nuclear fusion. Like, you know, because a real nuclear fusion, a real nuclear, you know, fusion scientist isn't busy, like, trying to market himself. He's doing research. Like, this era, all the real people who do the real work are completely overlooked because Giannis Pappas has an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so for more than 60 years, scientists have pursued one of the toughest physics challenges ever conceived, harnessing nuclear fusion, the power uh, source of the stars, ah. wow, to generate abundant clean energy here on Earth. Today, researchers announced a milestone in this effort. For the first time, a fusion reactor has produced more energy than was used to trigger the reaction. Oh, I get it. See, that part I can understand. So probably it means that, you know, the cost of doing business, let me explain it to the people on our level. <laughs> Back in the day, they were trying to do this because they knew the power source of the stars. And they're going, yo, that would be nice if we could harness that power to make power here so we don't got to depend on these uh, on, on fossil fuels, which have these carbon emissions that mess up the atmosphere, you know? Whoa, whoa, dumb it down a little bit. Yeah, it mess up the atmosphere, yeah. So it would be nice... It would be nice if we could do something that was sustainable and recyclable if you believe that sort and type of thing. <laughs> if you believe in that fairy tale, something that was sustainable like the stars because, yo, whatever, whatever, whatever's power in the stars has got to be fucking strong like Hercules. <laughs> so they've been trying, but they had to use more energy to try to make it happen than they actually got out of it. It was costing more. They were losing fucking money. All right? They were losing fucking money on the deal. <laughs> so finally, they made a little fucking profit, a little scratch for themselves. Finally, they got out more than they put in. It's like when you marry a fucking broad and she won't blow you. You're going fucking, I, you know, this cost me more than I'm getting. Right? As opposed to when you're just dating a girl and she's blowing you every fucking day. You're getting a lot. So this fucking energy is blowing us every day. Capiche? Capiche? I mean, that was actually explained in a way that I can understand Yeah, it. I got it. Yeah, now I got it. This thing blows us yeah. all the time. Yeah. And we don't got to marry it. Yeah. And it, it's not fucking breaking our balls. <laughs> it's not asking me where I am. It's not asking me where I am at all times. <laughs> I get it. I fucking got it. And I'm also going to buy Adam Sandler's book in 10 years called How to Be a Republican <laughs> in Hollywood by just being quiet. 